Been here with Tiger Scorpion Self Defense Tactics. I'm about to go over the full thing on how to use the flashlight as self defense. Okay, let's go over the grips. The grip for the flashlight is this always faces to the bottom of your fist. Thumb presses like this across the flashlight. The teeth on the bottom are for striking forward. These teeth right here are used for grabbing fingers and control. Alright, so finger grabs. You go for a single one finger. You go for the thumb, your claw pinch in. The teeth are digging into the back of the thumb. You can use it for joint manipulation, pull off, and even throws. Always target one finger. The teeth are digging into the bones. You can grab the side of the finger. Pinkies are the weakest. Digging right back into that pinky. Another good thing about these is the bottom of the wrist. You can grab the wrist like this and put it right there. There's a pressure point right under here. That really hurts. That's good for wrist controls. It's also on the very top. On the inside. Right here. Now, let's go into Striking points. Striking points for the flashlight because of the nice teeth on here. It's very effective for all the small bones and joints that are in the hand. You can target anywhere on the top of these hands. You'll end up hitting one of the joints or the bones. Next target. Under the el under the fist and the joint at the bottom. Also the very top here. This can be struck. You can strike upward. It'll be this side upward into there. The other targets on the arm will be. Here, where the joint is, and all the way here, all the way into the armpit, and all this down this way. You got your ribs, all effective, all along this side. Same on both arms. Now we're going to go into the chest and the head strikes, beginning with the shoulder. There's a bone over here, just along the side of it is a striking point right here. You can, next one is the shoulder, right in here. You Feel the collarbone all along this collarbone right here. 
this striking area. This one's really good right here. You got the V of the neck. This one is it controls the breathing. You can press it in and it'll little choke. This one right here we only use if our life's threatened. This one can be fail. Same it's the same place you would do CPR. And it's just below the chest cavity. You can feel the V spot. Next, we're going into the sides of the neck. You got this side and that side. It's the same on both sides. Now for the head. Chin strike. It's the very bottom of the chin, upward. You can use this for control, just pushing them back. Same for the nose. Right in the nose ridge underneath. It has the lip one too right here. Pressing in. And then you got the nose one going up. You can use it. I'd, it'd be this way. Going up. Next one. Jawline. It's a little dent right in here. It's the jaw muscle. Bad thing about this is. Hard blows will break the jaw. This one up here is fatal. So I would not strike anything up in here. You can use this also for a nose bridge. Pressing down in. It would be like this. Next one behind the ear. And that covers the ones that I'm going to tell you. Alright, now we're going to go on the legs. Everyone knows about hitting the groins. But, so let's get to the real stuff. Side of the leg, when you put your hands down like this. There's this crush point right here. Called frog. This will collapse the leg. They won't be able to walk on it for a couple minutes. Very effective. Next, we're going on the inside of the legs. Right in here. Up and down the center of the inside of the leg. You can strike all this right in here. Next, knee joints. Here. And this side, same on both sides. Taking out the kneecaps. Back of the knee. That whole back of the knee. You strike that. Next, going into the foot. Well, you got the calf muscle. Very back of the calf muscle, you strike that. Foot is the same as the knee, both sides. In and out on both sides. Achilles heel. The top of the foot and the toes. That concludes that. Alright. Now we're going to go into how to strike. First we're going to take our fighting stance. With that weapon in hand, you're going to step back on that hand. Shorter line, shoulder width apart. Feet are the same as your shoulder. Put your guard up like this. And every time before you do a strike, flash the light in their eye and do two strikes. This is to blind and dilate their eyes if it's nighttime. Works during the day if you have a bright enough flashlight. First strike is going to hammer fist. Hammer fist is down like this. The target is, let's say this is your bait hand and they grab your arm for striking the fist on top of their fist. Tearing up this, all this knuckle right here. 
Other thing about the hair and fists is you're hitting the collarbone and the shoulders. It's right in here. Down like this. You also can hit the sides of the neck. Next, we're going into this one. Straight forward shooting. Like that. This is targeting. You can do the throat here and here. The uh, inside of the biceps. Oh yeah, the other hammer fist is the top of the arm right here. Back to this. So here, strike it in here, and the shoulders. Somebody puts their hand up and grabs you. Boom, boom. Right in here. Also targeting, shooting in. We're hitting here and this side. Liver on this side. So this side, and then you got your hair and fist. This arm is always out for defense. If you want to get them close to grab your weapon, bait, strike, strike, strike. And that concludes the video. All right, block strikes, block strikes. So we got the hammer fist this way, and then we got the hammer fist that way. Striking the arm in here. Boom. Like this, cross. Can end up hooking over the wrist too. This strike, we're aiming for a block, we're going across hitting in here. This hand, when usually if you're deflecting the haymaker, you want to put your hand flat. This will you get clocked by your hand fist if it's all the way flat. And that concludes the blocks. Now I'm going to go into what happens if somebody grabs your weapon hand. So they grab your wrist and you need to get free. One way is you turn upward like that around the wrist or you can go the opposite way rolling in pressing out this one you press in this one you press out like this to break through the other thing is you never want to be out here trying to do that you want to be closer to your body, you have more leverage and more control over them with their, they'll be way out here like that. So closer in, more control. And that concludes uh, getting out. <laughs> Last but not least, we're going over the push like this and the push like that. Okay, we got the nose pushing up, up in the nose bridge, press down on the top of the nose bridge. You got the shoot in, pushing on the throat, seal the breathing. Same thing here. This one, you also push behind the ear and then you got the wrist one they grabbed your arm you push off right here and step back 
solar plex push. You can do it this way too. So I hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, subscribe and follow me. I'm going to be putting out a bunch more in the future. Thanks for watching.